how are you doing? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. How are you? Good, good. Good Great. to see you. Congrats on everything. Congrats on um Ghostbusters too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's a fun time. Definitely. So first, I just want to say Herbert Magic Williams was actually a previously Leaps character from the original series. Yeah. And he was a Vietnam vet. Um, and he kind of felt obligated to bring Sam back home. And he also dies in the original timeline. How do you think this affected your, you know, presentation as Magic and his decisions in the new timeline? Yeah, I think it's, um, you know, as, as I've, Magic has gone through a lot. He's sacrificed a lot. Um, his personal life is a little bit of a not together, but uh, he has this one mission in life. He realizes that without this event happening, uh, that he totally doesn't understand, um, that he wouldn't be here. So he's really committed, uh, and he does everything he can to pull this team together. And this team is family, but um, there are a lot of moving parts. And, um, you know, it's not as simple as he had hoped, but um, but he's, um, yeah, he's, uh, it, it, that was a lot, not only life cha changing, but life saving. Uh, and um, he's really committed to, to Quantum Leap. And the original series explored themes of social issues, uh, dealing with things like civil rights, disability, sexual assault. Um, yeah. And the new one also brings up a lot of like important real life situations. How do yeah. you think the new series expands upon these concepts and like characters' humanity, especially when dealing with like mental health amongst black men? Yeah, yeah. I think um, this is a wonderful show just in terms of being able to, you know, not only look into someone else's life, but to walk into someone else's shoes. And that we're all, you know, I mean, the difference from, you know, 30 years ago, we're at a different place in time and, and just human history. And we get a chance to look at that and explore that. Um, I, we did an episode where we looked at the L.A. riots and, um, and we got a chance to see a lot more of Magic's, you know, um, life. And, um, and I think it's great that we reveal ourselves to each other so we can realize that we're all pretty much the same. And I think the show does that, the humanity. And Raymond Lee, uh, he just, uh, he just, I don't know, he's that universal guy that I think we can all relate to. I'm so happy to have him on the show. Yeah, it's a fantastic, yeah. very diverse cast. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a great cast. And um, yeah, I, I just think we're at a time in society where there are a lot of, <laughs> there's a lot of uncertainty. And the only answer it, to in my mind is that we need to make other choices. And I think this show allows us to see other possibilities, but we have to, we have to make other decisions, I think. Uh, and as leader of the team, Magic, he always has to be like the strong one. And he kind of juggles between like taking care of his team and, you know, his um, job at the Pentagon and due to his dedication to the military and the project, how do you think he balances a personal life? Well, I don't think he probably does very well. <laughs> it's like uh, he's really committed to this, uh, you know, to, you know, this project this is his goal. But in the meantime, his personal life, he has a daughter who uh, he, you know, his relationships have not been the best. Uh, we find that he has had a drinking problem that he's trying to be on top of. So his personal life is not together, but he is very much on point when it comes to his service. And what his, um, you know, what that mission is, and uh, and this team, this team, which is more like a family to him. So, um, yeah, he's he's like all of us. He has his issues, but he's he's working through them. And then, do you yourself know the mystery of the series, or are you kind of surprised by the script as the show goes along? I'm always surprised. I, you know, and a lot of it, I'd like to be surprised because I don't totally want to know if there's something I need to know to play a certain scene. But otherwise, uh, I read the scripts and I kind of go, oh, wow, I didn't see that coming. So uh, I like that. We got a great writing team, producing team. Um, and uh, I'm impressed with some of the twists and turns. And because um, I think that's the way life is. I think it's the way magic would feel like I thought I had this together. And now this happened. We saw in the last episode, totally blindsided. Now, what do we do? And I, I like as an actor, I like that discovery. Yeah, keeping you guys on your toes too, I guess yeah. makes it more like exciting. <laughs> right. yeah. And as yeah. head of the Quantum Leap project, uh, what do you think Magic's perspective is on what the technology actually is about? 
how it will proceed and his thoughts on any like overarching like military conspiracy like concerns. Yeah, I think there's a lot of concerns because I, I think he knows the danger of this, the technology to totally understand, which is why he relies so heavily on his team. But uh, but he knows it's so completely necessary. Um, and he has to. And part of the struggle with magic is in the military, we have this protocol and this is how things work. And suddenly he realizes early on that it's not going to work in this situation with these people. I've got to I got to take a different approach and that's not easy for him, but, um, but that's what he does. And in season two, we see a lot more about uh, magic, the quantum leap project director. We learn about more about his personality and his, right. you know, responsibilities. Um, yeah. Tom Westfall works alongside magic on the greater purpose project. And we kind of see more of magic's perspective of how is it like working with a team and like balancing these obligations? Yeah, it's well, I think it's for for him. Uh, there's no way that uh, he needs the military. He needs the Pentagon. He has to compromise. Um, the last uh, episode we saw um, uh, where um, Jeffrey, I can't think, uh, comes in and sits in his desk. You have to be willing to to take a different approach. Um, you know, Tom coming in, but Tom is necessary and, uh, and he finds a way to work with him um, to support him and not be threatened. But so all these, you know, life lessons that we to to achieve an objective. And I think Magic knows that um, uh, the old way or my way or the highway that doesn't work. You know, I'm going to give orders and everybody jump to it. That's not going to work in this situation. And um, it's a struggle from time to time. I think the last episode that aired, we saw him kind of lose it, but um, but he's uh, he's a work in progress. Cool. Thank you so much, Ernie, for taking the time. Thank you. Great talking to you. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.